Nobody will mind me wasting some of my money at the bar, right? Right? Returning to the game, Riho tells me a bit about her relationship with her sister. The two get along well, unlike most siblings. They're not normal. They must be witches. Burn them. Kill them to death. <coughs> Some other games that other people like won't be on the list because their gameplay did not appeal to me. For example, I can't get myself into fluidity because of that. Besides, water is a scary thing. People can drown in like a tablespoon of that stuff. Lastly, there's... <sighs> no death mode. If you can beat it, you're probably Jesus. peace ever no wonder Pete is so upset all the time we keep hurting the animals I just got some bullcrap ending where seal thought he screwed up Brad but <laughs> yeah screwed up Bradley screwed up Bradley unfortunately Windows Movie Maker doesn't work I mean what I totally do not use Windows Movie Maker Depending on the way you go, you might be trying to become one of her friends, trying to go out with her, finding out that she's your sister, or you might be trying to murder her. And the Illuminati know that they're finally primed for world domination. Then she wants to race me because she wants everything to be a competition. I decided to race her, but I tripped and fell on top of her by accident. Oh well, she wanted to race. It's her fault. People play video games for a reason, whether it's just to have fun or go on an adventure that you can never go on in real life, or even to experience the love that you can never experience in the real world. For the longest time in the game, I was struggling financially. So badly that I ended up running out of food for my dog. And to be honest, when I first started, I didn't even realize that I was supposed to feed the dog. Whoops. There are other trophies you can get as well, such as clearing with less deaths. Or even without dying at all. You see, this is why I'll never 100% in this game. I don't have the patience for this crap. <clears throat> hey. I just wanted to tell you that you look lovely today. You have a nice face. You have a really nice face. No. No. You know, the next time you come over to my house, I'm not sharing with you, you jerk. You don't get to play with Ponies, I mean, I didn't say ponies, I totally didn't say ponies. I did not say ponies. I did not say ponies. Like most Mario games, Princess Peach gets kidnapped by Bowser. Come on, Bowser, you gotta do something original. You're never gonna get views of the wrong thing. This is one of those games that you'd have to call a visual novel, as in you do a bunch of reading and I'm looking at pictures. Psst, they're way better than books. We also find out that he's been stalking her. Seal, I don't think that's legal. Later that day, I find Akari again. She's making those motions with her hands again. And this time, I actually ask her what the heck she is even doing. It turns out she was pretending to play a cello. She's pretending because she's not allowed to bring the cello outside. She claims that she's practicing and not pretending, but I don't believe that. 
She randomly tries to sing a note, and being the nice guy I am, I correct her. Then she plays a song on her cello. What a great performance! It's so good! It's almost like you never had an instrument! And then we go to our classes afterward. I'm too busy not caring to care. I mean, get real already. We're not sheep. I mean, it's not as if this game would make me want to order a delicious McDonald's hamburger which has the perfect blend of crispy lettuce, meaty tomatoes, a patty sizzled to perfection, and all topped off with one perfectly crunchy pickle. Well, that's ridiculous. I'm two steps ahead of you, McDonald's. Right, your mind games aren't going to work on me. Hey, can you pass the ketchup? <laughs> you can't have a burger without ketchup. Oh my gosh, I'm a sexy tall guy. Come on, of course it helped. I was like a thousand times sexier when I was taller. I get it. I don't get it. It's... It, it's awful. Okay, so I didn't go back too far, and I got the same result in the end, but one thing I'd like to bring up is that I accidentally asked Keika out. We were to meet at the pool the next day, but the next day she said that she would be at the beach, so I met with her there instead. After we spend some time together, I get a message on my phone from Keika, who's at the same place as I am, and she's upset about me missing our date. And I say that I need to apologize to her tonight. Um, what? According to this game, I stood Keika up because I was already going out with her at the same time I was supposed to be going out with her somewhere else. What? Video game logic never fails to amaze me. And that's all for me this year. I hope you guys have had a wonderful year, much better than I've had, because my year's been pretty bad, but at least I've got a lot of content out on my YouTube channel during that time. And I plan to come back next year with even more content, and hopefully I will have a better year next year, and you guys too. <laughs>